Hey there, it's episode 15. Made a decision with the series. We're going to show you some of the decisions I'm making because I feel right, like right now it's like, hey, here's a new part we built, but I don't explain what went into it and why we picked it. And then, hey, we'll go through practice of qualifying and come back for the race. And that doesn't seem very interesting to me. So let's take a look here. Um, car condition update, 19 hours to fix it after the race. Take an interview. Falco was beaten by somebody else. Would you consider bringing her in? No. No, because I like Falco quite a lot. That it adds a trait to the driver. It says like they're not willing to talk to you for 50 weeks or something. It's like, that's fine. I wasn't plotting on hiring you. Okay, looks quite good. Doesn't like leading, but as a wonder kid, has plus 50 potential. Not very marketable because, you know, 18, but yep, we'll just take some of that there. We're going to design a new pot. Um, if you look here, I'm, I'm, my my decision making here. So we get two average brakes. Again, they're that's not their normal reliability. They've got to get fixed after the race. We've got a good engine, an average engine, average gearbox, an original gearbox, and two original suspensions. But when you look at the upcoming races, right, the last the, the remaining majority of the season, medium speed corners only comes up at the Black Sea. So again, not that um, suspension is not important, but I feel like a gearbox is more important. And brakes are more important. So, like, that's what I'm thinking right now. So, we're going to go for a good gearbox. We're going to take acceleration plus 10. Not a big fan of the risk level. And acceleration plus 30, which unlocks this next level. We could take the riskiness here, right? And then, But that's quite a lot to pay just to reduce the risk level. That would be good. Yeah, so we go from, like, 123 to 173 from a base standpoint that seems quite good nine hundred thousand dollars off it goes we can't fit anything we can't work on improving any parts just yet um let's go back down to people we haven't scouted yet hmm, shall we unemployed surely that's good right add that one to the queue jimmy jimmy way right all right, let's hop ahead, get the car repair complete, then we can start working on reliability of our current parts. Okay, always want this on reliability 10. I'm just going to take all this off. Okay, so again, I'm thinking we want at least one part that's not going to explode, right? So that we don't have to spend time in the pits fixing everything. So we're going to go with engines, I believe. Let's get this one up to at least 75. But some of these other parts are quite, quite not good. So let's work on, this gearbox is close enough. I'd like to get both of these to 75. We'll work on the performance because we're going to keep these two around-ish. This has got a lot of performance increase available, so let's go there. But, oh, see, it kicks it over to performance. we got to go reliability. So we'll go a couple days here, see what it looks like in terms of getting, you know, our stuff where it doesn't explode during the race, and stop. Let's look here. Oh, timed it perfectly. Take the engine off. We'll add the other one back in. Okay, new wind tunnel. We can't afford that. Stop talking about it because you make your team jealous. Okay. Not quite. But again, if we can get these to 75, I'm, I'm good with taking them off. And by that point, maybe the new gearbox will be done. Right. Ooh, 77. We, we, we overdid it. We overdid it. Um, these are at 210. I think these, that's something that we want to get up. And these are 50%. That's quite tud. So we'll, we'll keep it rocking there. Scouting report. Eva van... Get, uh, oh, lots. Lots of bad. Just, just, just ignore that. Okay, let's go. Another Claudia Dreyfus. Fearless. Goes clubbing. You'd think that'd be a bad thing, right? Wouldn't that lead to, like, reports of getting in trouble... Buyouts come down. Not a not a bad little option here. Okay, let's check the parts. Still working on them. Still working. Okay, now we got a new gearbox. Okay, thank you. Yep, check out your car. What shouldn't it say? Check out your cars, because we have two cars. Okay, two cars. Um. So we have good and average. This is the new one. So Falco doesn't mind getting the worst one. So we're gonna give it straight to William Chenet. Because if we do that, no. Mm -mm. I think Falco's a better driver. We'll leave it like that. Right. Now, I think. We gotta look at improving. 
Um, the gearbox is kind of important, so we're going to run with that. Get the engine and the brakes up here. It's going to show us the, the series above us. I don't understand why it does this. I don't, I don't care. I don't care. Right. Okay, moving on. It's just going to wait a couple couple days here. Stop. And let's look at the car. Oh, I forgot to build another part. Every time. Every time. What do we want to do next? Um, I think we will do a suspension next. Maybe. I'm not convinced. Because an engine's expensive. I'm trying to squirrel away some money for next season. Like this season, I'd like to get some good base parts. And then next season, like come out and smash some people in the face with some like upgrading of the factory and all that kind of stuff. So the, all this is going to be after the race anyway. These are cheap. Let's do 25 to max so we can start working on that. We just need to get some components built so that we can start building some better components. Eh? So it's like pissing away money for no reason. Lovely. Let's do that. Off you go. A couple more scouting. Nope. 19 lap race. I, I'm curious if you're running into this. My lap record, it says, is nothing. And we definitely raced there last season, so that's weird. Telemetry center. Yes, yes. We can't afford that. Thank you. See how how the parts are looking. Okay, not terrible. Not not great. <laughs> but not terrible, you could argue. I guess. Okay, so let's keep plugging along here. Oh, racer, easy on fuel. Oh. Okay, five million dollar buyout. Seven months left on contract. You want to come work for us? Anybody? Anybody? We got an empty slot down here. I feel like I'm just randomly selecting them. Sure, Jose Whiteman. Not I thought it was Whitman, but it's Whiteman. Okay. Okay, nineteen lap race. We'll hop in. Let's take one last look at the parts here. Not great, not terrible. We'll work on it after the after the race. Hopefully stuff doesn't explode. We'll go run practice and qualifying and then we'll be back. Alrighty, so we qualified 12th and 13th, just barely into the sponsor objective area. But we did it in the second qualifying, so we can change our tires. So hopefully that actually pays off for us because the folks in front of us, this is, this is going to be a one-stop race. So I'd like to think that the folks in front of us are going to have problems. We're gonna take the race trim and the car condition dropping slightly lower, I think. I'm gonna look at the car setups here. Okay, so we got them dialed in 98%. These can go 10 laps. If we just take it easy, we get the performance increase. Give them just straight 10 laps, right? Mm. Yeah, I think I think we just do straight ten laps. Okay, just trying to look at the car part because I know we kind of we switched up the, the parts a little bit, so they both have parts that can break. I'm hoping we can make it. He can make it ten laps too. All right, although that would have him pitting at the same time. So Shannon's going to come in after nine laps. That makes the most sense to me. We're not going to push him. We're just going to tell him to take it easy. Off we go. Let's see what we can get done. Ten laps and nine laps. Okay. Come on, Engelhart. Ooh, up to 11th, 12th with a really bad start. My goodness. Shannon, of course. Not much better. Oh, Shannon making a move, though. Oh, he undercuts his teammate. Tenth place. Maybe it's because he's slightly lighter fueled. You know, he's got that, you know, extra tenth of a second or one and a half tenths of a second. Clumped up in a big pack here. We're going to speed it up a little bit so we can just space him out. Okay, let's watch Channon then. If he's going to be the, the leader of the team. Looking quite nice, sir. Fast, fastest second sector, which really doesn't mean much, I think, in like the first lap. But an overall good lap. Drops to 11th. Engelhart in 13th, battling. We don't have the boost thing to worry about. That's quite nice. 
Okay. Just making sure I watch my fuel here, because I don't want to... I'm tempted like, to drop it just for like half of a lap once they kind of get spaced out a little bit. So that they definitely make it back to the pits. Because I'm not, again, I'm not pushing. We'll just have to keep an eye on it. 10th and 11th, 12th, 10th, 12th, 11th, 12th. Yeah, it's all in there. Right about where we belong, I believe, right now. We do have some folks on some medium types. There's no way they can make it a whole race, though, right? No overtaking in Sector 3 because there's some sort of a wreck. Hal Wilson has crushed. Okay. Okay. 19th had to come in for something probably damaged from the... Maybe they bumped into each other or something like that. We're up to 8th and 9th. Quite good. Quite good. Okay. Uh, okay, we just started the lap. We got five and a quarter, six and a quarter. So we should have enough fuel, if we just leave it as is, to go all the way to our, our to our lap that we need to take it on. Right. I just don't want to run out of fuel, because that's, that's kind of what we're known for around these parts. Racing quite well. The setups are really brought in, brought it in quite nice. Of course, these folks are on mediums, and they're up in 10th and 11th, so that's kind of impressive. They've already made their first stops. My goodness. Going with a two-stop race. That's interesting. Fifth and sixth. Okay. Four laps of fuel on Shannon. We're almost five on Inglehart, so we should be good. We're racing together. It's teamwork, right? They're not they're not battling. It's partnership. That's what we're kumbaya, right? Here we go. Okay, there's a bunch of people in the pets. I'm like, what is happening? Interesting, they're all going for a two-stopper. Our tires are looking quite crap to be fair. But we are the leaders right now. Get in some good laps here, even though the tires are falling off. Okay. Okay, so they can go eight, that's a lap. And then nine, that's a lap. So he's got, okay, I'm just checking the fuel. Checking the fuel. I think we're gonna do is say go easy on the tires, especially for Englehart. We'll probably leave him on that, even though he just took the lead. Interesting. Okay, Shannon. Tire temps are getting up there a little bit. We're not. We're just gonna cruise out there. If we can make this a one-stop race, yeah. The break. Oh, wait, what? Oh, it's bad. It's bad, lads. Yeah, we know. Yep, you're coming in. Oh, he's gonna. Right. So he's, he's out there blazing at first, and his tires are gonna fall off. Okay, there's gonna be ten laps left after the pit stop. Okay, right. Let's do that. It's only going to take it up 6%. I think it's worth it to risk it. That would be nice. But I don't, I think we're just going to risk it with the parts. I think we're just going to have to risk it. Struggling a bit with the tire wear. Yeah, just don't, don't wreck. Don't wreck, my friend. Easy on the fuel, Shannon. Okay, I'm gonna speed these guys up again. Once we get past here, we can set up his pit stop, make him feel a little bit better. He's slow. He's definitely come off the pace, right? He's 2.4 seconds off the pace. This car is... Oh, that's 19th. Okay, never mind. I'm not suddenly as worried about that. Switch the tires. Okay, there's gonna be nine laps left. So it gives them a little bit of a chance to push, but yeah, we gotta fix your car. If you're gonna stop, oh, let's just fix it all. Oh, do we? These definitely need fixing. <clears throat> That's such a long period of time. 16 seconds. But it seems like we should... Oh, 44 seconds up from 20? That's gonna screw his race, isn't it? But maybe we can... I, I think we gotta do it, right? We're, no, let's not risk it. Let's not risk it. 
it's not really worth it. If you're going to spend 44 seconds in the pit, what's 42 and 44, right? Fix the car so maybe he can, he can have that one-stop stent go longer. All right, he's coming out here. Okay, Engelhart, whose tires are just about to fall off, is coming in. Low on fuel. You're, he's got enough to get around. Don't freak me out like that game. Okay, let's watch his pit stop here. Watch everybody fly past him. Even 17th is going to catch him. Ugh. We're just not there on the, on the, the car. Okay, Shannon is going to have to battle for us. Second place hasn't pitted yet. Wowzers. Great on the repairs, so came out a little bit faster, maybe? We're not going to push the engine and the fuel towards the end, until the end of the race, because otherwise stuff starts breaking. All right, Shannon is back and battling. Eighth place is... Pit, just had to pit. Okay, great. Englehart's got a lot of ground to make up. He's a full full minute behind the pack. But he's got lots of, of clean air, so that's good, right? Ish. Shannon is battling here. Tire temps are up. Oh, eighth is exploding. That's good. That's good because they got good tires. Oh, that that should be right. There's no way you survive with your with your blinking light on your dashboard, right? We're up to 16th here, Englehart making his moves. Coming down here, he's catching up to 15th too, because they're on slower tires. They've had to make two stops. Shannon's getting slowed up by this car that's exploding. It's not what you'd say was ideal. So 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, six laps. So let's overtake this car. Just a fuzz, just overtake him. And back down. Let's not do anything crazy with the engine. Let's watch Englehart back here. If he can catch up to 15th here, we might push the engine. Not yet, though. Not yet. Everybody's made their stops. I guess 13th is trying to make it all the way on those me or 14th now is on all the way on those mediums. Okay, we can start pushing the fuel a little bit. Same thing here. I'm bound and determined not to run out of run out of gas. Bound and determined. He's putting in some good lap times. Chanted up the sixth place. Englehart just had the car explode. It's kind of not really his fault, is it? Oh, he's making his move on the outside. Can he get the inside corner here? Yes, he can. I, was gonna, I thought he was going to be up the 13th. He's up to 14th. He's already there. Okay, I'm just slowing this down for a second. We got four laps. He can burn some fuel. He can burn just a little bit of fuel. Let's watch Shannon up here in fifth place. My goodness. And he's going to get fourth, first, second, and fourth all have worse speed tires. Now, his tires are going to start falling off. So we should probably start conserving the tires. Okay, things are looking quite good here. Assuming his tires don't... In just absolutely explode on him, which is an option. We're going to bump his tires down, too. We'll take a second and an 11th if we can. So I think third is going to catch us. Fourth is going to catch us probably in seventh. They've got better tires. It's all right, man. Chill out. We're going to take you down to here. Take you down to there so we don't run out of fuel. Just stay with the pack. Stay with the pack. This is looking good. Englehart is racing quite well. He's catching up to a big pack here. Yep, your tires are wearing down. We are fully aware of that, sir. He's slowing down. His tires are falling off, that's why. Back up to fourth. He's got fifth and sixth. Ch ch tracking him down, I think we're going to end up probably like ninth. Last lap, though. Let's just speed it up here. Fifth creeping by. Can he hold his position? He's got excess fuel. This is the last lap. Push it, son. Push it, son. Last lap of the race. Your tires are falling off. It's fine. Stop conserving. Just push it. Sixth place. 
Nice. I think that's a good result for us, considering we start 12th and 13th. Englehart with the car exploding ends up in 11th. Channon moves up with his tires falling off. He's, ru he's ru riding on rims right now, taking 6th place. That is an excellent result for us. I think that's worthy of a like. You should probably smash that on there right now. Checkered flag with a Q. Checkered. It's a fancy flag. Carried a little bit of excess fuel, but that's okay. But the tire is falling off. But I think that the the Channon having the engine nurse or the the car nurse where it doesn't break down as fast, that's really helped us out. Again, Engelhart was he was racing so well, and then his car just exploded. So we got to work on that as he builds up his uh, work with his mechanic. Maybe that'll help us out. Anybody else get demoted? Nope. Nope. So Engelhart drops down to sixth. Chana stays right where he's at, or we're right there. We're in third place. Quite happy with that. Only three points off. These are the definitely the good teams. Okay. Strong result. Right. Contenders. Hashtag contenders. Let's look at the increase in our stats here. There was a lot of, like, overtaking and racing in a pack there, so you'd think, hopefully, like, all, all the corners and the braking, we'll see some right, right good uh, stat improvement. That would be good. Come on. And maybe some marketability? Eh, eh. Oh, breaking up 4%. Oh, 4%. Looking quite nice. It looks like we just got our fitness up to 15 here. That's good. Worked on his mechanic relationship. I mean, really? 1.67? I think I think being in third place in the constructors after four races should improve our marketability. Just saying. Just saying. But this is quite nice. Really smooth. Overtaking a lot. Oh, we made money. We're actually making a profit, my friends. Excellent. If you have enjoyed that episode, smash a like on it. Subscribe if you're new. We'll come back in 24 days. We've got parts to build, cars to fix, all that lovely stuff. And we'll see you in the next one.